Welcome back to our show. Did you know that 61% of people who misuse prescription pain relievers often get them from a friend or family member? That's according to the National Institute of Drug Abuse and Centers for Disease Control. Chesterfield County is launching a campaign to encourage residents to properly dispose of medications. Melissa Ackley from the Chesterfield County Mental Health Support Services is here along with Lieutenant Kim Tim Kehoe. If I can get this all together with Chesterfield County Police, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Department of Special Investigations, Division, Vice, and Narcotics Unit. It is great to have both of you here. This is a really important conversation to have, and I was talking with both of you before we got started. I think it'll be eye-opening for a lot of people. They think prescription medication, why, why is this a problem? Yeah. Why is this a problem? Well, it, obviously with the, the heroin opioid epidemic nationwide, um, we see a lot of people that move to heroin from you know, just regular opioid or, or prescription opioids. Um, so with our, the take backs and the disposals, one of the things we're looking for is to get people to get their um, prescription narcotics out of the house when they're not being used, when they're expired. Um, you know, like you said, 61% of, of people who get the opioids, um, get them from friends, family. So whether it's in a medicine cabinet, um, so we wanna get the unused and, um, again those expired meds out that's why we have the take back vents the disposal pouches so they don't fall into the wrong hands so they don't fall into the hands of people who are going to abuse them so oftentimes this happens with maybe legally obtained or prescribed medications that are at a home in and a family member maybe has is not no longer using them right you just yeah. had that old old bottle of prescription medication hanging around the house and then it can fall into the yeah, wrong there's hands. A, there's a big chance that somebody who's going to misuse or abuse those medications finds them in the medicine cabinet um, and then you know either they use them or they get them to somebody else who's going to abuse them and then you're seeing that this snowballs into illegal uh, absolutely drug use down yeah. the way yeah with I mean we've you know tremendous number of overdoses nation not just you know in the metro Richmond area but nationwide right. Melissa, you're with us this morning. The county has a really important program coming up. Uh, these pouches are available in so many locations mm -hmm. around Chesterfield County. How does this work? So Chesterfield County has launched our Don't Be an Accidental Drug Dealer campaign. And it's really about this piece that Tim was talking about, that many people have unused medications around their house. They don't think about the potential consequences of that, of others misusing them. And so we want to prevent that by encouraging people to safely store their prescription drugs and then safely dispose of the prescription drugs. So our campaign, um, disposal campaign has two main components. One is these prescription drug deactivation and disposal pouches mm -hmm. that we're giving out at many locations throughout the county. And the other is a prescription drug take back event that's occurring next Wednesday uh, from nine to one at Chesterfield County Fairgrounds. A lot. March 14th. Oh, March 14th. March 14th. Oh, March 14th. March 14th. March 14th. <laughs> March 14th. There you go. It's coming up. <laughs> so, I'm rushing it. So with these pouches, uh, these are available. It has, it feels like some sort of uh, so solid substance in it. How does it work? So it's a carbon compound. You just um, take your unused prescription drugs, which hopefully you've safely stored, um, and you pour them into the pouch, mix mm -hmm. it with water, let it rest for about 30 seconds shake it and then um, you can throw it in the trash. It's totally biodegradable. There's a carbon compound in there that actually deactivates the drugs. So mm. they're not only packaged away nicely, but they're also not useful. They wouldn't have the same effects anymore. Great, so you pick these up. Uh, it's just a rip top. You take it off, open it up. It's almost like a Ziploc bag. Dump them in, pour the water, they dissolve, and then they're inert. Then they're no longer usable at exactly. that point. Now, the drug take back program, though, a different situation. You corral all these loose, uh, maybe expired or old medications, because a lot of us have heard, uh, you know, it's not safe necessarily. Don't flush, right. don't put them back into the system. So we're hoarding all these bottles yeah. and yeah. don't have anything to do with them. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all over the place. You'll find people who have, you know, old medications sitting around. So so the take back events, we run a, about six a year. Uh, we've been doing the program since 2010. And in that time, we've collected about a little over 21,000 pounds of unused unwanted medications. So the way it works is the next one, March 14th, like Melissa said, nine to one at the Chesterfield County Fairgrounds, uh, open to anyone. You don't have to be a county resident. And it's, it's very simple. You drive up, you hand over your medications to an officer. Uh, we partner with along with the, you know, just the police department, but the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office and our partners with Safe Substance Abuse Free Environment. So you hand your medications over to a volunteer or an officer, and we make sure it gets properly disposed of. 
And I'm going to ask a silly question, but I feel like it's one of those questions we would want to know. You don't necessarily have to be the prescription holder to then bring those prescriptions in for disposal. Right. No, we don't. We don't ask anything. People drive in. They, you know, they, they hand it to us and it gets disposed. The only thing we can't take are sharps. Okay. So no needles, um, epipens, anything like that, just because of the handling procedures. But anything else, we'll see anything from, you know, just regular aspirin, Pepto Bismol, sometimes mm -hmm. to you know prescription narcotics. Um, Oxycontin, uh, Percocet, things like that. So, We've talked all morning about a fresh start, even though it's March, but fresh start for the new year. This is right around the corner. And what better way than to clean those shelves yeah, out, know out. that it's being taken care of. And then, of course, if you don't make it to the, the take back, you can then visit all these locations. And they're available on the website. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we'll Chesterfield.gov backslash help. We'll have a link to that on our website today. Chesterfield County Police will host that medication take back on the 14th from 9, was it 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Chesterfield PM. County Fairgrounds, 10,300 Courthouse Road. For all the information, we'll have a link on our show website by early today, wtbr.com slash VTM.